In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to calculate the age using a date of birth within numbers. So here we have a very basic table with three different date of births in. Now the first thing you want to do before we move on, you want to make sure all the date of births are formatted correctly. So you want to highlight all the date of births, then come up to Format, then Cell, and on the Date of Format drop down, you want to make sure that Date and Time is set. Now you do not have to add the time, you can select this drop down box here and select none. And also you can change the different formats of the date. These boxes need to be set as date and time for this function to work correctly. So now we want to do the age. You want to highlight all the age cells. And you want to make sure these cells are formatted as numbers. So now we have all that set to the correct format. We can now move on to working out the age from the date of birth. So let's come over to cell C4 to work out this first age. So we want to press the equals key on the keyboard, which will bring up the function box. Then we want to type in date div. Now once we've typed in date div, we can press an open bracket. However, what I really like about Apple numbers is that if you press the enter key, at this stage, it will give you all the information that you need to fill in to make the function work correctly. As you see, all the different information that it needs for this function to work is laid out in front of you. So let's fill out the first data set. So start date, you want to click this. So as we're working out a date of birth, we'll enter the person's date of birth here in B4. So we'll select B4. Now the next data set is the end date. Now you can add any date you wish in this box. However, every time you open the spreadsheet, if you want it to automatically update, you can write today. Now the last data set that you need to enter is the calculation method. And you can press this little drop down here and then we can select days, months, years, month days, year months, and year days. So as we just want to know their age, we'll select Y for years. Now at this point, you can click the little green tick or press the enter key. And as you can see, Apple Numbers has automatically worked out this person's age at 42. Now you don't have to do that for each individual date of birth. If the cell that we've just created highlighted, you'll see this little yellow tab here. And what you want to do is you want to click it and hold and then drag this cell into the other cells below. And this will drag the function we've just created into the other data cells. And as you can see, we've now worked out the age of the other two date of births. So that's how to calculate someone's age using their date of birth within Apple Numbers. I hope you found that video helpful. And if you did, check out this playlist here where we have many other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations. And thanks for watching.